Hi, I'm Cynthia Ye, and I play percussion in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Hi, I'm Kathy Brubaker, and I play viola in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Hi, I'm Odo Carrillo, and I play French horn in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Hi, I'm Rosalind Lee, and I sing in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Chorus. Hi, I'm Lori Bloom. I play clarinet and bass clarinet with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> I started in a band program in fourth grade in my elementary school. I wanted to try the flute. They said, oh no, you're perfect for the clarinet. Um, and I ended up with a clarinet. <laughs> I'm the last of four boys in my family, and my parents had an idea that each one of us would play a particular instrument. So I think I was around nine when I started playing the French horn. I play percussion now, but I didn't start that until I was in high school. I was born in Taiwan and started playing the piano when I was four years old. I'm a year younger than my brother, and so when he was four and I was three, he started taking piano lessons. My mom said I begged and begged for lessons when I was three because I had so much fun at my brother's piano lessons, I wanted to do it on my own. You're not alone if, if some days you say, I don't want to practice today. There are times when all of us don't want to practice. I mean, it's, that is a universal. Of course, there were some days where I didn't feel like I wanted to practice my instrument, just like there's some days that I didn't want to do my homework. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice greatly, rejoice, O daughter of Zion. There are a lot of pressures in school nowadays, but music is a way to deal with those pressures. I try to balance out my life with other things that I love doing. I love my garden, and I find that to be a very peaceful place for me. I like to work with wood, and here in this basement I've designed a, sort of a woodworking shop for myself. This is sort of a trial that I, of trial piece, so not everything came out perfectly right away. It's sort of like being a musician, where you have to work at it and sort of um, polish it and refine it because a lot of things that you do in life they're not going to be hammered out beautifully right away. Being in music, unlike almost everything else you will ever encounter in life, the amount of focus that you need to get through a performance is unmatched. You can't slack off and you just kind of learn how to focus that much harder. I had no idea I was going to become a professional musician. The vast majority of us who started in music are not going to become professional musicians. That's not the point. Music has given me a whole lot of things. Confidence has given me great friendships. It's given me the ability to communicate with others. I'm more caring for other people. When you make music, you have to be willing to let someone into your heart and your thought process. When someone responds to that, there is a bond that can be just amazing. And when you can sit next to someone who's having a hard time with everything else that's going on, but you're both singing in choir together, and you're having a great time, it makes all of the other things, at least for a little while, seem a lot less important and a lot more manageable. You make friends that can last your entire life. You have to listen to the person next to you on either side of you and sometimes the person on one side is a different instrument and has a different part but your part still fits with them and so you're constantly listening and adjusting and playing the best that you can on your part but having to go with everybody else too and it's hard to explain until you do it but it's really amazing.